Let's say you manage a list of employees and sometime employee moves from one department to another department. In this situation, you need a quick way to update the employee information without manually search for employee department and update the information. If you are managing all this information using SharePoint list, so how you can do without manually update information. So today in this video, I will show you how you can do this updation task in a column of SharePoint list using Power Automate. Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. I welcome you all to Power App Tutorial Playlist. So before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. So first you will learn how to get an item in Power Automate from SharePoint list. Then second thing you will learn how to filter item in SharePoint list using Power Automate. And third you will learn how to update item in SharePoint list using Power Automate. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, you need to log in into your Power Automate account. I have already logged in into my Power Automate account. Now let me show you the employee list which I am managing using SharePoint list. So this is my employee list. Now let's say all the employee who are working in administrative department, they are shifted to the production department. So if you are manually doing this task, then it will be very time consuming. So how you can get the solution of this problem? As I mentioned you in the beginning that we will use Power Automate Flow to do this task. So first of all, let me tell you how to get item in Power Automate from SharePoint list. So as I told you, you need to create a flow. So I am creating instant cloud flow. You can create automate cloud flow as per your need. So let me click on instant cloud flow. Give a name of a cloud flow. Let's say demo cloud flow demo then here i am selecting a trigger manually why because right now i want to manually run this flow so click on create then after you need to make sure that the flow name is given properly then here you need to add an action as i told you first thing is that if I want to update the information of employees department, so for that I need to get the data of employee. So here you can click on this and click on add action. But before that, let me allow that add an action. Then from the action, you can search it. Now this is the new designer window. If you want to switch on to the old designer, you can toggle this off okay so it's your choice whatever you want to make it i personally like the old designer so let me go to that then here you need to click on new step and search for the action that get item okay so here i need to select get items why because there can be a possibility that multiple employees are shifted to one department from the another department so select that get an items then from which SharePoint site you want a list data. So my uh, employee data information is in know how site. So let me go to that select the site name from the drop down list then select the list name. So my list name is employee data underscore information. So here let me click and select that information then if you want to select the entities folder include nested you can do that now the next thing is that i want to get the data of employee whose department is administrative department why because i want to change their administrative department to the any other department let's say i want to convert or i want to move the all employee from administrative department to production department so i want only the employee information who are working on administration department 
so here you need to write the filter query so here if you are writing filter query that means you are giving a filter criteria while selecting the data from the employee list okay so for that you need to write a name of a column so my column name is department so you can click it and you can rename it or not rename it but you can click it and select the rename option and then select it let me here go to the settings go to the edit and here let me copy the name and here let me paste it so from the department column whose department is equal to so for that you need to write equal to since it is a text information so you need to write it inside a single quotation so whose department is uh, let's say administration department so let me copy this text and here let me paste it inside a single quotation and then you can save it so here i will get all the data from the employee table whose department is employee department so i hope you understand how you can get data from sharepoint list now let me tell you the second thing how you can filter data from sharepoint list the thing is the same here in the get item you need to set the filter query in that you need to write the department and then whatever the condition you want to write or you can say whatever the operation you want to perform so i want to perform the equal to operation why the reason is whose department is administrative department or administration department so here you need to write the criteria you can mention one or more than one criteria for filtering the data so i hope you understand how you can filter data from sharepoint list using power automate now let me tell you the third thing how you can update the sharepoint list column information using power automate so for that again you need to go to the next step and select the action called update here you will see that update uh, item actually not update file update item from sharepoint list so you can select that now here you need to set the sharepoint site from which you want to select the list so here i am selecting that then list name i'm selecting employee data info then after you need to mention the id okay so which id whatever id is selected by the get item one by one you want to update that so here you can write down the id here automatically you will see that now here you can see that apply to each is automatically added why because from the previous action i am getting multiple row so that for each row i need to collect the department information then i need to update and then i need to process the second information so here automatically apply to each will be added so now my flow is ready so let's run and check it out whether the flow run successfully or not so let me save that now here in update item i forget to mention that what i want to update so i want to update the department so where the administration is there i need to update with its a production so in that you can write it in a department uh, field and here write production okay so whenever here administration will be there production will be replaced with that text okay so make sure that you have written and then you can save it so my flow saved successfully let's test it so i'm testing it manually click on test then it will ask my permission to log in in sharepoint so i gave the permission then click on run flow so let me click on done and here my flow gets failed in the second step and it is saying that column department does not exist it may have been deleted by another user or anything so here this error is saying that whatever the column name i have written that column is not exist in my current sharepoint list 
Now, what is the reason for this error? Let me just go to the edit and here, let me double check the column name department and equal to administration. So everything is fine. The problem is that if we are using SharePoint least column name, in that case, if we write the, this column name directly, it may work or it may not work. So if you are getting this type of error, then what you need to do? You need to go to the settings and go to the list setting. Then after and here you will see the list of column name which is there in your SharePoint list. So here you need to click on this department column. If you click on this department column, here you will see the information of that. But here you need to go to the address bar and see here this is the coding name of your column. So my display name is department name, but the computer or you can say the power automate or SharePoint list has given the name that is field one. So you need to select that field one, copy that, go to the power automate flow and instead of department, just write down the field one. Now here we are considering that field one is a logical name or schema name of the department column. So let's update and save it and let's run it again. So let me test and click on test, select manual run, then click on run flow, then click on done. Now you can see the second step gets executed successfully and it is updating the each administration information with the production information. So depending on the data, it will take time. So here you can see that it took 23 seconds to update the column information. If you click that, here you can see that there are 62 row is updated. And how many failed and how many uh, success, it, it will see that. So if you click on this next, you can see that every item is successfully updated. Why? Because everywhere green color sign is there. Now let's check it in SharePoint list also. Now here you can see that whenever the administration uh, word is there or uh, whenever the administration department is there, you can see that it is replaced with the production. Now nowhere administration is there. So total 62 records are updated or you can say that total 62 records department information is updated. So this way you can update column data in SharePoint list using Power Automate. So before ending this video, let me tell you what you have learned from this video. First, you learn how to get an item of SharePoint list using Power Automate. Second thing, you learn how you can filter the data of SharePoint list using Power Automate. And third thing, you learn how you can update the column information of SharePoint list using Power Automate. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.